Hey everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. Um, we're here in Broken Railroad, starting episode 56. Um, if you recall from last episode, we kind of found this cave. Um, it's right next to the hunting lodge. Um, but we did craft some new food. We found the Briar House pie. Or I guess the Briar House recipe to make the Briar House pie. So that was good. Um, but we kind of have an obligation to carry it now. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna do. It does cause you to, yeah, it does cause you to stink a little bit, but you know what? I cr I made these, so I am taking them. Um, yeah. I was gonna maybe take the ptarmigan down, but it looks like our fire isn't gonna last. I don't think we really need the fire to do this, to be honest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, ah, oh, that's two hours of harvesting. Yikes. That's a huge harvest. Just for feathers, huh? Alright, let's just get it done. Uh, that was a little miscalculation. Drink some water. Alright, it looks nice outside. It does indeed. Uh, what is this? Venison pie. Probably could eat that now. How many calories? Doesn't tell you how many calories, huh? Um, alright. Just eat it. Okay, so I am going to take this, and let's take our pelt and saplings we found last time. And why don't we get moving on here? Let's go ahead and see what we kind of need to uh, sketch out. It's not going to be much. It's not definitely not going to be too much. Uh, yeah, 93 out of 215, almost halfway. Um, that's going to be the broken bridge, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right. Broken bridge it is, but I think first, though, first we're going to want to, I think, go this way. Broken bridge might be just easier to go this way, because if we go that way, we're going to attract some, some unwanted wildlife. So if we go this way, we can kind of hit the broken bridge. I guess it's the rickety foot bridge first, and then... We can drop down to near the maintenance shed. And hopefully we can get over the maintenance shed without any problems. We'll see though. Would have liked to sleep a little more before doing this. I also think we should go into the ravine here in Broken Railroad too. Probably going to be... I don't think it's going to be the last time we're in Broken Railroad, but... The last time for a while. We might as well just do it, you know? Nothing, nothing really else to do. Now, there were ptarmigans over this way. Last episode, we hunted them, which is great. How much ptarmigan do we have now? 13. Great. That is very good. And we actually have materials for another bow on us as well. So if our bow gets low, we can always uh, repair that. Oh, that's a blizzard, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Um, yeah, back to the cave, I suppose. Man, we just had a blizzard uh, last night. That's crazy. All right. Well, there's hey, you know what? There was no way to tell that that would pick up like that. We'll go back. That's all right. I guess we can eat one of our pies too while we're in there, and it gives us a chance to sleep too, if we want to sleep. I don't know if we're gonna wanna. Because in case this breaks, I have a feeling it's not gonna break though. I think we should just kind of sleep. Sleep all we can. Because tonight it's probably going to be pretty cold without a fire. Uh, I'm windshaded here. I don't know if I should spend this time breaking down a stick, though. We'll definitely look for them, though. There we go. Just in case tonight. What's the temperature? Cold. Get back in here. Oh, we're back. That was a quick trip. All right. I'm gonna put those there, and it's still out here, I suppose. Come on. Move these back. There we go. Okay. Excellent. So. Uh, sleep time. Maybe. 
At least two hours. No way it broke already. Nah, it probably just changed. Yeah, changed directions. Well, that's fine, I guess. We'll take the 17. That's a, yeah, that's a lot, actually. I'm gonna drop this as well. Oh, we actually have some repairs and stuff to do in our inventory. Well, let's do those. Get on that. So, what did I see? What was it? It was, um... Yeah, it was these. Some tear down. I think I made... Did I make three additional fire hardened arrows? I, I must have. Pretty sure I did. Check, though. Let's see. Yep. Here we go. Nice. Awesome. Well, that knife can be sharpened. Five minutes. Or, for five percent, I think it's for ten minutes. There we go. Okay, great. So, um, yeah, just kind of hanging around, huh? Kind of hanging around. Not really too much to do. Um, I would love to have some cured leather on me. So I could go ahead and repair the aviator cap. That would be great. But... Um, okay. Oh, we still have these pies, and it looks like they're still... Okay, they're kind of... They're slowly degrading, but it doesn't matter, because we can eat them anyway once they're low condition. All right, cool. Um, more water might be a thing. Definitely, but... That's okay. Probably make more water later. Once we actually, you know, need a fire to uh, sleep in the cave. Oh. Well, forget that. I'm, I'm leaving if it's like this. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Get me out of here. Look at this. A whole new day. Yeah, absolutely we're going to move in this. I'm pretty happy that I slept. I'm not going to lie. That was awesome. Okay, cool. So yeah, like I said though, we're gonna probably um, hit the rickety footbridge. I mean, we have to, it's along this way here. Um, and then beyond the footbridge, there's a chance I think for a deer carcass up there too. We could take it, we definitely could, but we're carrying around two pies, you know? I don't know how, uh, how much longer I wanna cling on to these, especially because they're pretty heavy. Well, they're not heavy, but they, they smell. They smell basically so getting them out of the inventory quicker especially as we near uh maintenance shed might be a good idea we'll see we can usually get ourselves out of some trouble anyway so i'm not too worried about it i don't know why i took the scenic route over here all right I think there's a rope climb over here too. Or it might it might actually be bring your own rope type of thing. I hope there's a rope over here. So there's also a chance too, I suppose, that there's ptarmigans over here. And if there is, I'm not gonna bother with them. I'm just gonna let them be. I would love more ptarmigan down because I can never really have enough. But I uh not gonna go out of my way today. There's another birch sapling I will take, though. Rickety footbridge. Pretty useless spot, to be honest, but I, it, it is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Take the rose hips. Now, I did see there's a rose hip pie we could make. That is something to think about. Rose hip pie. Be interesting some oak trees up ahead. I don't know if I'm going to take any acorns, though. Don't think, uh... Don't think that's, like, worth it. The acorns are pretty heavy, too. It's a nice spot to know of, though. In case we do need acorns in the future, we know where to, to come for them. A lot of stuff going on here. And you can dig those out. This, like, kind of an overlook? Yeah, it is. I can see the maintenance shed over there. 
That's kind of cool. Another oak tree up here. I'm going to see what's up here, though. Might just be like a little scenic view. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. This is really a, a scenic view. That's kind of cool, huh? Wow. All right. That's awesome. Uh, I do see a way maybe we could scale the side because I'm not trying to drop down. I have to admit, um, I would like to try everything in my power not to drop down. Uh, this could be very hurtful for us. Oh, we're good. All right. Yeah, I'm going to try... I'm just going to try to scale across another birch sapling. Not going to do any use just sitting here, is it? Might as well take it. I suppose. Yeah, going back to Mystery Lake is going to be the move once we sketch out the uh, broken bridge. Actually, once we go down into the ravine, because I think I'm, I'm pretty set on that. I, I would love to, to go down into that ravine there. See what's going on. Oh, careful, rabbit. You don't fall off. All right, let's maintain our height because I don't want to uh, have to walk all the way across because we're going to get the attention of a wolf here um, probably very shortly because of our pies on us. So if that happens, at least we're nice and safe, right? Doesn't seem like they know, though. That's good. That's, uh, that's not a spot I was trying to go through, you know? Definitely not trying to do that. One wolf, you know, maybe. Two or three, though. The odds kind of really stack against you. And it cannot be a good time. Um... Just trying to peek over here before we drop down. I think we're going to have to drop down anyway, though. I don't know if there's a wolf coming in that direction, but it doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to try to get up here. I'm really just trying to take the safe route this episode. I hear ptarmigans, but I'm not interested, I don't think. I don't know, my mind could change before I get there. <laughs> but I don't think... Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for them. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna have a little self-control here. It's like a little path up here. I'm gonna try to get up. What's going on up here? Oh, they're like right here. Oh yeah, here they are. Well, it's your lucky day, birds, because I ain't gonna get you. Not today. Alright, so we made some good timing here. Already here at the Broken Bridge. We can probably start sketching it out. And then Broken Railroad will be complete. It will be complete. Uh, where to sleep though, huh? That's kind of a question. I think I might just scale down into the ravine tonight. And we'll like sleep outside, maybe do an outdoor fire or something. I think that could be cool. Um, I know it is kind of, you know, survival. Not really doing things to be cool. We're just kind of trying to survive, but I don't know. Um, okay. So, let's just check real quick. I know we're cold. Did we get that? Yeah, it looks like we did get it, but I'm just going to check anyway. Okay, yep. Broken Railroad, not there. Good. So, we got that. That's excellent. I'm going to go ahead and probably... Would this be a smart thing to eat right now? Max stamina goes down. But fatigue improves so let's eat it Ooh, wow look at our condition now definitely just got a max boost there for it that's nice okay cool well i'm a man of my word so into the uh into the ravine we go i'm thinking we do have one pie on us that should be more than enough to survive the night and cattails and all that food on us too. It'd be okay. 
And I did pick up a ton of sticks, so in case we need a fire, which I think we're gonna... Gonna need one. We should have enough. And I got coal on me too, which I will replace once uh, we get back to uh, Mystery Lake. Although, I could probably... I didn't search the Bleak Inlet transition cave too much, like I said I was going to do. Because if... I was going to... Probably going to search that for some more coal, I think. But I suppose... Uh, I suppose I left it. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not good. It's an Aurora. That wolf is going to... Oh. Or he's going to run, that's fine. Let's drop down. Because I'm saying, oh shoot, because I have eye on me. That might not end well if uh, somebody gets scent of me. I was really kind of hoping the pies really don't make a scent. You know? But, it, I mean, it makes sense that they do. Makes sense. Kind of hoping I could get away with it though, but. Alright. Ah, uh, this should be searched, no? Yeah, it is. Take the feather. Alright, we're losing some condition here, but I don't feel as bad. Because we do have that condition boost right there. Oh, yeah, it's a bring your own rope type of thing. Oh my. Well, we're kind of in trouble here, aren't we? I did not know that. Whoa. I don't like, I don't like this at all. Somebody's out here. Hmm, alright. Alright, this might be tricky. Might be tricky, but I'm gonna try to set up shop over here. I think. I'm gonna try to... Yeah, well, let's... Look at that wolf coming over here. It's an Aurora wolf, too. Didn't really leave myself in the best spot today, did I? No, I, did, I didn't really. Well, I'm gonna get this fire going. And we're gonna sleep next to it. Thankfully, thankfully, we have a good amount of, con um, of energy. You know? So, in case we have to, uh... To be up for a majority of the night. We can do that. You know, we can be up. That is no problem. Now that Aurora Wolf, though, is kind of scaring me. Not gonna lie. Two hours? Okay. I'm gonna put in one hour. Just enough to be warmed up. I don't know what the wind is gonna do tonight. Could switch directions. Alright, we're still shaded. That's great. It's a wolf over there. Gonna try to keep my distance slash get my pie that I dropped over here. Because that is uh, important to me. Oh, he was on it. He was absolutely on it. Alright. That's our, that's our life right there. That pie. Aurora wolf. Alright. Well, you know what? Everybody's got to spend some time outside once in a while, right? Everyone's got to do a little camping trip, all right? We're fine. Uh, yeah, I'll do a little bit of water. 21 minutes for that? Sure. Uh, and I'm probably going to take it one hour. Put it in. We'll see. We'll see if the water boils off. It shouldn't. Yeah, we're fine. Not wind shaded anymore, though. This fire could go out at any moment. Really tempted, though, to go back to the maintenance shed. Very tempted. But I don't think I'm gonna. I do not think I'm going to. That would be a death sentence, I think. If you want to die, probably go into the maintenance shed during an aurora. Because why not, but... Yeah, not, not really trying to, to perish here. Well, okay. 52 minutes on the fire. That's probably about an hour, but I'm going to put an hour on anyway. 
Let's do another hour. I'm praying that this fire doesn't go out. But it sounds like the wind died down. But if, if this Aurora does stop, though, I, I would be down to, um, to go back to the maintenance shed. That we were a little closer to the Forlorn Muskeg entrance. If the Aurora stops, though, you know, I'm not gonna go there now. That would not be great. That was a big burn bonus, actually. Do another hour. I think I'm still gonna end up carrying this pie with me, though. Into the Muskeg. This is pretty, though. I ha you know, you have to admit, it is super pretty. Super pretty indeed. Did that changed its name? It, it, I think it just, it used to be just Briar House Pie, no? And now it's Elegant Briar House Pie. Did, am I? I might be seeing things, or I actually might be onto something. I don't know, but I don't think that was always elegant. Anyway. Just trying to keep a... Keep a lookout for anything. That, um, Aurora Wolf kind of left, I think. Or at least she's not over here right now. Could maybe make a move. Let me, uh, I don't know, wander this way, maybe? I don't want to go too far. So about halfway through the night, a little more than halfway... Um, I will maybe just go over here, though, for some sticks. Yeah. You can't really have too many sticks. At least not in a situation like this, you know? But having a little more is good. Ten minutes, that's fine. Didn't get blown out because it would be nine minutes if it did. All fires that get blown out automatically go to uh, to nine minutes. If it's if you have more than nine minutes on the fire, that is. Uh, you should be able to warm this up. If it says cold on it, then there should be an option to warm that pie up. But just what I think, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna put 54 minutes on it. I think that's good enough. Probably not even gonna get a full hour out of this sleep anyway. All right. Wow, 30 minutes, my gosh. Huge, um... Huge burn bonus going on. That's great. Alright. Uh, is it clouding over a little bit? It might be fogging over a tad. I don't know. Dang, okay. Well, we will, uh continue sitting here by the fire. I don't think I'm going to move tonight. Maybe I will. I don't know. Depends. It all depends. How much water do we have? I would like to maybe put on just a little bit more. If possible. So 10 right there. I do, yeah, 10 minutes on that too. Nice. No more sleeping for us because we're already fully slept. Ooh, look what I said, huh? Yeah, we're fogging over. Nice. Prediction was at least somewhat right. Uh, 11 minutes till that. Good. Alright, so there's no more Aurora going on, in theory. Um, we could get a jump. We could get a jump and start going towards, um, Forlorn Muskeg. I'll probably just have a torch in hand or something. Um, I don't want to get too brave with things, but I, I don't really want to stay here for a long time, you know? Five minutes to think about things. I'm probably gonna drop ten of those. Maybe drop another five, because we did the musk egg incomplete. And we did Broken Railroad now complete. So now we have to go back to Mystery Lake and just kind of regather ourselves, if you will. Oh, there's a wolf over there. He's probably gonna smell me. Yes. Yes, he is. He's gonna be a problem regardless, though. Because I want to pass by that way. 
And he is uh, not going to let me. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's a... Uh... He's not gonna. He's not gonna let us. I don't think. He's walking in a good direction, though. But he's howling right now. All right, you turned around. Yeah, it's like playing Five Nights at Freddy's right now. All right. Slowly but surely, we're gonna get this. I. I hope. walking away coming back absolute wolf games right now absolute wolf game like an arcade game right now all right oh can't put anything down right here I'm gonna have to pick it up and drop it with uh, my inventory nice dropped it Ooh, I don't think he smells it. Ooh, but he does. Look at that. I, I just saved us. I didn't know there was two of them. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I saved us. I actually just saved us. It was a calm, I, I saw something. I know it's very specific, but I saw something really dark. I know it's nighttime, so that doesn't really doesn't really help. But yeah, something was super dark. And it was coming towards me. I was like, "Well, what is that?" And I heard, I literally just heard two pitter patters, and that, that was all I needed to know. I'm surprised he didn't bark at us, though. I was full on sprinting behind him. So there's two of them. One was up there. Um, good to know. I have the pie. Nobody's coming. I'm gonna try this again. Because I didn't learn my lesson the first time, right? Now I. Oh, wow. He was on his way. Alright, we got plenty of torches for this. I, I can play this game. But I do want to be warm, though. And rather soon. I don't, I don't have eyes on him. He walks that way towards the left, over that mound right there. I could get a glimpse on him. I could try to get up this tree though. Hold on a minute, big brain coming into play right here. Hold on, might have the play of the century here. Can I get up this? Oh my gosh, yes I can. All right, wolves, come here. Come try to get me. I dare you. Let's do it. I'm ready. Why does nobody want me now? Come on. Maybe because they know they can't get me. They're just not interested. Come on now. I like it up here though. Imagine you could start a fire, that'd be cool. Oh, that wolf is... Okay, this is this might be our chance. This actually might be our chance. He's walking towards the maintenance shed right now. Um, I want to go, obviously, behind him. Um, we could probably... I could probably lose him. Oop, don't die. Alright, he's confused. He doesn't know what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on. Okay, great. Hey, that, you know what? That's fine with me. I don't mind. You guys, uh, have fun over there. All right, so we're on the move. Excellent. That wolf might be chasing us, though. Let's drop it and pick it up just in case, you know. Well, let's keep an eye out behind us. And in front of us, you never know. Wow. Oh, boy. That was cool, I guess. A little stressful. 
I really wanted to move while we were warm, though. That's a little unfortunate, but... Kind of just whatever. Uh, maybe what I'll do up here at the train car... We'll go ahead and just get in. Start a fire right on the outside. Eat up some teas, and then we'll walk back. We will be in Mystery Lake, um, probably by noon time today. So, uh, we'll see. We will see, for sure. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put all sticks on it. No coal, no anything, just all sticks. We can always go hunting, too, for some sticks out here, too. Because I have a feeling, whoa, you're gonna shut me out from my fire here? Come on. Alright. Could get us nice and... Uh, it's gonna be close, actually. It's gonna be close. Uh, let's just go ahead and... We'll do burdock tea. Let's just do it. Wow, not enough. Not enough fire. Or enough, um, sticks. I should've just put one coal on. That I trying to be cheap. Whatever. Here's what it is. We'll find more sticks along the way, though. Alright, cool. Picking that up. Uh, we searched this already, but... Did we miss anything? Doesn't look like it. Alright, cool. Condition? Check. 89%. That is fine. Um, snow's coming in. Not necessarily bad. It's not good either. Just watching for wolves down the way there. Guess we'll find them shortly. Two hours. Yeah, you know. Alright. Let's do... Oh, can't even prepare the rose hips we found earlier. Didn't get enough. I'm hoping this doesn't go to blizzard. You know? I guess you can't really prepare for that. Um, what I will do, though, might be a bit of a waste, but I kind of just think we need to. I'm going to put, I'm going to drink this just to get warm. And I'm going to start taking some torches off. I got decently warm with that, because I want to get out of Broken Railroad at least before this blizzard or if there's a blizzard coming before this blizzard kicks in. Because I don't want to be stuck here. I don't really want to be stuck here. Alright. Uh, we have quite a bit of room too, huh? Yes, we do. Six pounds, about. Six pounds extra. Well, then you gotta take the pot and then the pie and... We'll be overweight. But I think that's okay, though. Oh, just underweight. Alright. Well, if that's the case, let me, uh... Take another torch, then. That's a bad torch, but it's fine. Alright. Here's the true test. Onward. Into, uh, the muskeg, hopefully, we get there. Traveling before morning. Not usually something I, I try to do here in Interloper, but... I think, given our situation... It was, it's probably the right call. It's probably the right call. I have to just wait and see, though, if a wolf is going to pop out of here. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Like clockwork, huh? Like actual clockwork, man. Hey, wolf. How's it going? Seen better days? Yeah, me too, man. All right. He's, he's running. I'm running. We're all running. Man, I swear. They're always there. The wolves. Always there. And a blizzard is kicking in. Man, broken railroad. More like broken dreams, huh? Wow. That's not a wolf, right? No. This place is, is ruthless. It's actually ruthless. I'm tempted just to eat this pie now and drop the rest. To be honest. 
gonna be a backpack we searched already. Probably should have taken the high ground. I think I'm probably gonna take the high ground. Let's drop the pie. Man, that pie's been giving us some trouble, huh? It's worth it, though. 2,000 calories? Yeah. Do anything for that pie. Hoping there's no wolf up here. But I... Given what we've already seen... It's not up here, is it? Oh, there goes the torch. Uh, matches aren't going to do anything right now. The flare might be able to take care of work, though. Wow, super dark. Super dark, huh? Um, I don't hear any wolves over here. Over this way? I really- I don't. Like, I, I don't at all. Now, let's drink a tea. So I can gather myself. Think about what I want to do. Um... Yeah, moving was kind of a... Bold... Play, wasn't it? But you know what? We're here now. We, we have to just kind of pay the price, you know? Gonna cut this way. Still on the lookout for that wolf we downed, um, walking into Broken, Broken Railroad. Might just go ahead and light this up. Oh, there's rabbits here. I have no need. And a deer carcass, hey. Mainly just here for the wolf, though. Gotta admit, mainly just here for the wolf. Drink the burdock tea. Didn't give us a ton back, but it's a good amount. Um, gotta be looking at the ground, too. Pay attention. There's more burdock. Oh, lots more burdock. Um, is getting this gonna be a good idea for myself? Probably not. Not gonna help us right now. The dead end, really. He's gotta be over here somewhere, no? Hmm. Interesting. Well, here's my rationale. We have a little bit of warmth left. Let's just use this to get over to the muskeg. I can cough up an arrow. It's fine, you know. Not a huge deal. What is going to be a huge deal, though, if this goes into blizzard? That will be a huge deal. Because I don't have enough firewood to go through a blizzard again. As I used up all my, all my coal for, uh, for preparing those teas earlier and for that blizzard overnight. So moral of the story, right? Spending the night outside, very difficult. Even when you think you're very prepared, it's very difficult. And I guess outside can mean a lot of things, you know? I, I mean like outside, outside, like no cave. You're just sheltered against a rock. And that is about it. It's tough, man. That is tough. And if it was daylight, I for sure probably could have found the wolf. But because I chose to spend the night outside, and because it's, you know, the coldest time of day, and a blizzard might be coming on, um, it's only proper to just get out of here. Get as much uh, distance covered as possible. I think I'll probably just end up warming up at the poacher's camp, use our last piece of coal we have on us. Totally underestimated. Uh, don't be a blizzard. Uh, it might be. It might be a blizzard. Oh boy. Okay. Well, if it is a blizzard, we are going to have to get insanely lucky with placing down a fire and compensating for wind direction because we have one piece of coal and that is it. Just one piece. I don't think this is blizzard quite yet, but it's gonna get there shortly. Um, I can get into the musk egg relatively quickly. Picked up the bedroll, that's great. 
Still have the pie on us, good. I might just eat the pie and drop it before the musk egg. To be honest. That's not a wolf on, on the tracks, is it? No, that's a rock. Alright. Yeah, I mean, in addition to just being cold, the clothing is going to take a big hit, too. Because, you know, being out in harsh weather like this, clothing does, uh, does get ruined. Pretty easily, too. Alright. Um, that's going to be it for the Briar House pie. Still have about 500 calories left, 450, but um, I'm just going to cut my losses. Let's leave this area uh, and go into an equally as bad area. Should we just go to Old Spence? That's usually always a good fallback. I think we're going to be kind of pressured into it here. thing with Old Spence, though, is that uh, there isn't really a guaranteed warm-up once you're in there. We're going to have to get a fire going and all that. But that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That'll give us a chance, actually, to search out that shed. And it looks like it might be clearing up, though. Update. It is not clearing up. It does look like it wants to, though with the sunny sky, but you know what? At the, at the, uh, at Spence, we got food for a long time. Uh, we might as well just sit back and relax for maybe a day. Or maybe even two. There's a birch sapling. I'm gonna pass, though. Yeah, this is intense, though. This is intense. If this was dead man, this would not be a good situation. Look, it looks like it wants to clear up. But it very easily just might go to blizzard. Negative 25. What is this? Feeling weighed down. Oh, that, that was from the pie we ate. That's okay. Oh, there actually is a cave over here, too. Next to the shortwave tower. That would be good. I wouldn't mind sitting in there for a little bit. Just at least wait until it's nice and warm to even leave, right? Um, maybe I'll get this burdock. Gives us something to do. Yeah, that, that that's a good idea. I just hope there's no wolf respawn, though. I have a feeling there's gonna be, though. Get this out. Still only have four bullets. I really do want more. I have to say, but we've been pretty good so far about not using one. I hope that doesn't change up here, though. It looks like it's clearing up a little bit. I can see a little farther now. Alright, let's take the high ground. Oh, that's part of the shortwave tower. I was like, what is... I was like, what is that? No, nope, just the tower. Alright, we're on the high ground, so this is great. Of course, the wind is going to calm right when we get into the cave, but I don't care. We at least need to, to go in here and sleep a little bit. I hope we're warm. Yes, nice and warm. Oh, good by a, um, a good margin, too. Okay, great. Um, let's just put in two hours, because we really need it. Oh boy, right? Oh boy. What an intense little run we had right there. That was uh, that was pretty intense. I'm gonna put in three hours. I think today we're just gonna head back to um the camp office. If it's gonna let me, no, it's not gonna let me. They heard camp office and it was just like nope. Team does not want me to move today. All right. Well, we're nice and warm in here. No complaints. We did get the burdock, so that's nice. Only 15 minutes worth of stuff to do, though. Alright. 
Ooh, we could do this. Yeah, this is what I, I wanted to do. Um, let's do it. One hour. Sure. This is going to be better than the Wool Ear app, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, it, it, it actually really is. Um, do I wear that instead? Or do I wear the, the ear wrap? This is going to be better in terms of warmth. The waterproof isn't as great, but... It makes up with the windproof and the temperature. And it's the same weight. And same protection. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with this. Maybe I can dump this back at the camp office. That is awesome, actually. Um, nice. I, uh, I like that. So I think we're gonna, probably going to be forced to spend the night in the muskeg tonight. I don't think we're going to be going anywhere. Which is okay, because spending some time outside in, uh, in Old Spence, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Take a few stones, though. We can do some inventory management there as well. I think I have... Do I have a wool ear app? At the camp office already? I might already have one. Um, back at the office. Because if that's the case... That is the case. I can just go ahead and drop this ear wrap over here, can't I? Probably can. The thing is, though, I'm, I'm probably never going to be back. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I will be back here. But what I meant to say was, I'm not going to be back here very often. So, I don't know. We'll see. Now, I did hear wolves just now, so I think they're going to be... They're going to be kind of camping out the, the, the homestead. There's one right there. Yeah, they might have definitely overtaken while we were gone. But I noticed, the spawns are a little wacky with wolves lately. You don't really have to be gone for very long for them to just kind of take over. Yeah, look at that. Have a wolf on the premise. Two of them. Three of them. Look at that. Wow. Oh, they're definitely... The boys are back in town, huh? All right. Well, um, let's weigh our options here. I don't think there's any need to rush still. I think we're still pretty good. We're, we're fine. Um, I will, however... I will probably just walk this in, though, into the, into the homestead here. Maybe I'll run it. Plenty of food. Plenty of water. Firewood is... Pretty plentiful as well. I think we're I think we're gonna be okay here. For at least a while, you know. Yeah, for, for at least a while. Not okay, well not a ton of food. I thought there was definitely a little more than we had, but I think it's still good. It's still good for maybe two days worth. And I don't plan on being here for two days. I'm probably just gonna be here for another day. I'm depending. What time is it? Just about sunset. If we leave right now for camp office, we will get back around sunset. Um, so... You know. Options, right? Options. Um, definitely have options. One option is to go that way, and then kind of follow that. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna try to get out of here. I'm just kind of looking at everything we have here. And it's not great. We're nice and energized for, for a hike right now. Oh, wow, we have a lot of stuff in here. Oh, I forgot how much we had. All right, I'm going to be taking a lot of this stuff back with me. Let's actually, let's leave a few of this stuff, though. Um, where is it? Maybe just two behind each. Scrap metal, I'm probably going to leave here. All this ptarmigan down is going to come with me. Ash doesn't need to come with me. I don't know why I took that. Okay. Everything else here looks really good. And we are 
still underweight. So I'm going to say we probably go. Um, I, maybe we shouldn't go right now, though, because I do want to, um, to not lose condition on this little run here. So let's start a fire with the sticks we have. I'll, I'll throw a piece of coal on. That's okay. We'll do that. Coal, you know, coal is kind of the way of the future here. It, it always is towards the end of a run. Having coal on you is always so important. Because if you don't, you uh, you will pay the price eventually. Whether that's with a warm-up fire or uh, just simply... It's, it's just mostly a warm-up fire. Or not even forging. That's another thing. So, definitely a thing that you want. Didn't warm up too much. Yeah, we're still going up. Alright, cool. Um, I will take that, and I will drop that. I contemplated maybe making a coffee there for a split second, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're so nice on energy right now. Oh, and it's clearing up too. Might be a little windy though. Yeah, it's going to be a little windy, but... That is completely fine. Getting a nice burn bonus though too. Uh, let me take a torch off and see if, it, if this will blow out. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that right here, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't think it blows out. I do not think it will. Alright. Uh, any bad torches I want to drop? There's a few of them. Try to manage to wait as best as possible. That's a good one. All right. Well, I gotta say, I think we're good here. I really do think we're good here. Um, looted everything, got everything in here. Pretty much stripped down. Uh, Old Spence is a nice spot. I really do enjoy it when I'm here. It can be a little stressful sometimes, but I do think that's part of enjoying it. <laughs> Being a little stressed about everything. Um, it's cool. It's nice. And it's nice when things go your way sometimes too. So with that said, Let's go ahead and advance a little bit. I'm gonna walk over here. If there's a wolf over here, I might cry. I think we're good. I'm gonna head to that house there. We've probably already searched it out. But just in case. There's a wolf over there. I don't think he saw me though. And I might wanna just do the crouch walk just in case. He's a little closer than I thought. We're all a little closer than I thought, but... I'm gonna be here for a quick split second. Uh, I think I've been here already. Yep. I certainly have. Uh, that's another lantern. Not better than what we have, though, so I'm gonna just leave it. Okay. Onward. Some rose hips there. Would have kind of liked to take, I'm not going to lie, but... That is okay. There's a metal container there, too. Right over there. But I'm not going to get that. Okay. Alright. We're good. We're done. Let's just head out. We, we did everything that had to be done here. Like I was saying, you know, old Spence. It's almost like a vacation spot. Except you do have to do a little work to survive, but the food is basically there. It's just up to you. Why did I throw that? It's just up to you to have the uh, ability and resources to get the food. That's all. Um, alright. Well, yeah, like I said, onward. Uh, the tower is going to be right up there. But the entrance should be right over there. Now, I do have to be careful, though, because I have been jumped um, behind these rocks quite a few times before. Not very fun. Nice thing about the musk egg, though, it's super flat. Now, obviously, there's, you know, weak ice and stuff, but 
Just don't go in areas that don't have solid snow, and you should be fine. Don't see any wolves. Oh, there's one right there in front of me, as I say that. Um, do I want to go that way? I kind of do. I kind of want to head this way instead. At least keep a little bit of distance. Uh, let's drop that. Is there a wolf over there? I think I just saw one. I don't know. I'm so paranoid at this point. I'm going to go ahead and drink one of these. That's going to be probably the last tea I drink. I've gone through quite a bit of them. Um, so I think uh, I think we're going to be good. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Oh, that, that was a close one. The ice started cracking like right after I left the shore. That was close. You gotta do those runs though sometimes to get across. All right. Poacher's camp, right there. I don't think I'm gonna stop there. Not today. Not today. I think I'm just gonna head back to uh, to Mystery Lake. Just gonna book it. Man, I have to say, what um, what an intense episode. Very, very intense. I've been so focused that I almost forgot I'm recording. Just because we found ourselves in some pretty good danger at times. You know, I mean, leaving... Well, first of all, I think mistake number one was spending the night outside in Broken Railroad. That could have ended very badly. Um, and then number two, I think, mo well, moving in the morning... Considering the situation we were in, it was a good idea. Because you don't want to stay put when the weather's crappy anyway and you're outside. Um, but overall, moving in the morning, thumbs down. Don't do it. Not worth it. Not even because it's dark, but because it's just so cold. And you're going to have to stop for a fire like every few, <laughs> like every few minutes. It's not worth it at all. But alas, we're here to tell the story. Just listening out for anything. I don't see anything. I don't see the bear. The bear is the main concern over here. I would love to hunt this guy. The bear over here is something... Is It's a bear I've never hunted before, actually. This one over here. But I guess if we have a good shot on him, I'll maybe take a shot. I hear something. That might just be the train cars, though. Yeah, probably just the train cars in the, in the train tracks. Okay, we'll keep an eye out, though. Temperature's pretty good. That was a good tea. Oh, there's the bear over there. No need to worry. Okay. All right. Wow. Wow, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm exhausted. This episode was mentally draining for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Emotional roller coaster and a half. Did I ever think we were gonna die though? No. I'm too comfortable with uh with um broken railroad to ever worry really about dying. The only reason you would I would probably die is if, you know, something was right behind the rock and it just caught me off guard. You can't really do anything about that. That's just kinda there. Oh wind's kicking up. Torch might go out. But I mean, in terms of the weather and stuff, no. Nah. Now, dying to the cold is something that rarely happens. Man, out of any direction, it just has to be a headwind, yeah? The wind could have kicked up in any way, and it just chose to be a headwind. Well, I guess since we're here, I'll peek over to the left and see if the moose is in town. He is in town. Wouldn't be a bad idea to hunt him. Doesn't look like he's in. He must be out for lunch or something, but 
Yeah, this moose spawn is not too far away from the camp office, if you do think about it. I think the only problem with this moose spawn is that once you start taking the meat back to the, to the base, camp office, not only are you going to track the wolves over here, but you're also going to get the wolves um, that like to sit on the train tracks in Mystery Lake. So that's never really great. But, I don't know. I probably wouldn't have down the moose if he was there. It's a good thing to be aware of, I suppose. Um, how are we doing? Alright, we're good. Alright, into Mystery Lake by sunset. Hey, I was right on that. That's good. Please don't be a headwind still. Doesn't look like it. Nice, not a headwind. It's actually coming out of the wall, which is great. Because that's going to provide some wind shade. Nice. Alright, so the next threat is going to be any wolves over here. That's the main thing. Then after that, we're, we're in the clear. I don't think there's any, though. I'm not hearing them. Could try to take the way up there towards the lake trail. That might be a good idea. You never know, you know. Um, maybe. Maybe I do that. Depends. Is there any wolves? I think I see one. It's not up here. It's got to be the next little hill. Man, these wolves over here are sneaky, though. Absolutely sneaky. They'll just duck right below that little, the little rise. Oh, that's one right there. They'll sit right below the train tracks, right below that little rise. Walk by, not suspecting a thing. That's another headwind. What do you know? Trying to act like I'm surprised, but I'm really not. Might be an ankle sprain, though. All right, let's get up here. Ah, oh, beautiful mystery lake, huh? We're back. Uh, why is this here? Oh, this must have been a deer I downed over here a while ago. That's probably why. All right. Come on. Come on, Windshade. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, you know what? I was right. Back in the camp office by... After sunset. Right around sunset. Awesome. Feels so good to be back here. Oh, boy. What a journey and a half we just went on. I'm going to just go ahead and pick up some sticks. My favorite activity. Stick collecting. Alright. Alright, cool. Decent pile of meat here, too. That's always nice. Go ahead and eat this. Meat. Organize the pile again. Like that. There we go. Alright, let's get back in here. Wow. Alright. Nice, back in here. Feels really good, actually, to be back here. Um, had a few close calls this episode. For certain. For sure. But we're back alive. That's great. Uh, probably, can I... I can do this in the morning. I can organize all this in the morning. I don't want to waste any more lamp fuel. It is, uh, it is pretty... At least rare, from what we've been finding so far. Haven't really found any. Another bandage, I'll take that. Um, we do have a lot of stuff that can be put away, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That can be taken out, but all this can be in there. More feathers, thanks. Um, even have some arrowheads. One arrowhead, rather. Probably have some more back at trappers, too. We'll have to go back over there and kind of organize the inventory again. Um, but we do have... Top is going to be matches, I remember that. 30 on us still, that's good. 
I haven't really been finding any more matches though, huh? That's been something. Just almost kind of noticed that now. I haven't really been finding those. Alright, and the ptarmigan down I think is also going to go in here. Ew. Well, let's drop the birch saplings. All of them. Excellent. Okay. It's not quite time to sleep yet. But I think I'm just going to probably sleep anyway. At least take us into the morning. Maybe I'll pass a bit of time as well. But yeah, no nothing really too, too much going on. Here at the camp office. I think next episode though, we'll probably get towards uh, trappers again. Take a uh, stockpile. Take notes about it. See uh, how much food we have. See how much everything we have. We might have to do a massive arrow ma ma manufacturing kind of day in preparation for Bleak Inlet. All right, daylight. Have a save point. I think I'm going to end it here. Um, what an episode. I have to say, bunch of close calls. Um, but that's kind of what makes it exciting in a way. Um, it is nice. But like I said, next episode, I think I'm going to focus. We're going to focus on uh, getting ready for Bleak Inlet. You know, making arrows, um, checking all the clothing, make sure everything's up to shape. Because if we get in a Timberwolf struggle with a pack, um, our clothing's going to take a chomp, you know? It's going to take a big hit. So we'll just have to get ready. And uh, yeah, we will see what happens. So if you guys made it this far, as always, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And hope to see you all in the next episode.